Welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English, episode number 333, baby. Oh, yeah. Apologies for the delay in this episode. I've I've been a bit run down recently. So if you're feeling run down, you're just not feeling so good, so strong, which is something we talk about in today's podcast, where I talk to substitute Sabrina about fitness and health and all of that stuff. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please take my 14 day vocabulary challenge for lazy people. I have designed it for lazy people that have no time to study. It's just 14 days of podcasts, 10 minute podcasts. That's it. The vocabulary is constantly repeated so you remember it in a natural way. Lots of people have already done it and lots of people have really learned a lot from it. And they especially enjoy it because it's for lazy people and you don't need to study. So if you want to check it out, stop the podcast you are listening to right now. Click the link inside the episode and then you can take the 14 day challenge totally for free. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. I will talk to you at the end. Happy listening. Substitute Sabrina, how are you today? I'm very good, thanks. How about you? I would like to say always fantastic, but from our pre-podcast chat, I think you know that I would be lying. Um, As mentioned, when you text me for our meeting, I had to stay on the toilet because I've been saying, let's say, spending more time than usual on the toilet with a bit of a vulnerable that stomach at the moment. Sounds uh, amazing. This sounds like you're under the bus there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I look at you, I can see you look like a picture of health, sunshine in your face. You look like an absolute picture of health because something's, something's different about you. Tell us what it is. Well, first of all, thank you very much for your wonderful comments and compliments. No, basically, um, I've been on a mission. I've lost uh, 25 kilos uh-huh. in the last uh, two and a half years. But in the last year, I've been focusing a lot more. So working out, uh, uh, eating healthy, and um, that's about it. So and, um, I can't remember when it was quite recently and you sent me a message and you, and you said, I've just finished a workout. I honestly thought, who the hell is this? <laughs> exactly. You would have never imagined Sabrina, do, uh, substitute Sabrina doing a workout, right? A- absolutely not. So just tell us about that. What What are you doing? You go to the gym, do like the jump, like jumping jacks, jumping up and down. <laughs> what is it? All right. First of all, I'm not a gym person, so okay. not not because I'm antisocial. It's just I prefer to do that at home. So I have a cyclette. Um, so I do a half an hour of cyclette and then another half an hour of uh, weights and uh, let's say open exercises. Oh. But Mr. Substitute um, advised me that maybe I should do one hour on the bike. So my routine has changed. I do one hour on the bike and then like 20 minutes with weights and stuff like that. Wow. Um, so this cyclette thing, is that the correct pronunciation? Very, very sophisticated, very French. What else is it called in English? I think it's a cyclette or a stationary bike, maybe. I'd probably just call it indoor bike. Indoor That's, bike, stationary yeah. bike. Okay, whatever. So I've never <laughs> understood these things because, mm-hmm. so you're you're in Rome, okay? You're in one of the right. most beautiful cities in the world. It's nice and sunny. Why would you right. stay indoors and cycle and just take a bike outside, go and explore, go past the Colosseum? This is what I used to do. Okay, yes, uh, but I think your memory is a little bit short in the sense of, one, uh, when you're out on the road, it's not that safe. Two, I work. So it's perfect. I do this stuff in the morning. I take a shower and then I'm in front of the computer and I'm ready to go. Mm. But you're right. You're right. To to be in a beautiful city, you know, get out there and 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 go. But no. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, when you said it's not safe, that was I owned the road. I was the king of the road. They used Whatever. to call me Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> the, the king of the road, like king of the jungle. Um, well, in fact, that actually brings me on nicely to something to talk about because we're going to talk about like just keeping fit in general, okay, different ways. Okay. And one of the things I read, I'd never heard this term. See if you can understand it. Commuterize. Commuterize. No, mm. please enlighten me. So it means to commute to work, but exercise. Okay. So, like, take your bike when you go to work, for example. Ah, okay. Commuterize. Okay. 
Um, and so that's me. So when I cycle, so I take the train into London, but I get off earlier, take on, take mm-hmm. my foldable bike, and then I take my bike for the last sort of 20 minutes cycling. So I am commuterizing. But one thing which probably doesn't sound so good, but maybe I've brought with me from Italy is my absolute lack of respect for red lights. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you doing that there in the UK? Um, but is it your is it your bike that you had here in, uh, in Rome? Correct. Um, oh, wow. I, I take that still still going strong. Um, okay and my my foldable green bike and so i come up to these traffic lights and honestly there are like 25 cyclists all waiting there there's no one there's no one coming no cars no people and i just think fuck you lot and i just i just go straight past i do get lots of abuse sure Um, okay but i i just can't i can't wait i i think look i've got shit to do man i can't be fucking. so you don't follow the rules oh my god i am bad to the bone i don't follow the rules um and so recently actually after i went through a red light i heard a police car going like whoa 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 (laughs) and i thought oh shit they've got me (laughs) they Uh, gotcha (laughs) but uh no luckily Luckily, they they didn't stop me. I did actually get stopped okay. in Italy once going the wrong way down the road. Um, ah, okay. Be- because yeah, not only red lights going the wrong wrong way down the road. That was part of my part of what what I used to do. And the policeman stopped me, and then I started talking in English, and he then quickly thought this is too much hassle. And just that's a good go. that's a good escape route. Just you know, pass uh, the thing that you don't speak the language of yeah. the local country. That's he's, good. He's, okay. So he he obviously said to me in Italian, like, "What are you doing? You can't go that way." And then I said, "Like, sorry, like, I don't I don't understand." He says, uh. "You no go this no." <laughs> And then he just went, va ben, niente. And I said, right, thanks a lot. See you later. Uh, that's a smart way, but I, I don't think you can get away with that uh, there in London. So one of the st- strange things, they have traffic lights for bikes, which I oh, find wow. strange. They've got traffic lights for cars and traffic okay. lights for bikes. But, um, but yeah. That's pretty cool. Not that I particularly... I mean, if there's a car there or a person, I will stop. But if there is not a person, especially that one when it's the pedestrians, you know, the traffic lights for pedestrians, there's no one there. I think, what's what's the point? What is the point? But some somebody might come out out of the blue and you don't see them. So you got to wait. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I am in the wrong here. Um, okay. But I, I just can't do it. Um, but okay, some other things to keep fit. Have you tried any of this? Any yoga or any stretching? Um, okay, yoga, no, but I obviously looking around uh, to what ways to keep fit and, you know, to keep your metabolism going. After my workout, I basically lay down with my feet against the wall straight up for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. I don't know. I don't know if that's a yoga yoga <laughs> method. But yeah, for your circulation. Oh, really? Who told you so this? Is this something you saw on Instagram? And then... I don't have Instagram. <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, yes, I saw it online. Basically, you you know, put your, your, your bum or your ass, as I would say, attached to the wall with your legs straight up and it it helps your circulation <laughs> and i put on meditation music oh so god i think maybe it becomes yoga i don't know <laughs> yeah well <laughs> meditation music equals yoga sure <laughs> um i'm just yeah just picturing that just you with your feet up against <laughs> the wall uh, and yeah. how that must after look. the workout yep mm. yeah it's pretty uh, cool I I actually try stretching quite a lot actually, um, okay. just because I feel so like what's the opposite of flexible? Not flexible. Um, Not flexible. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I actually tried when I was in Rome. I I went to a yoga class actually. Um, okay. But they were all doing all these like crazy maneuvers, putting in their like bodies in these crazy positions, <laughs> and I was like a giraffe, like trying to like <laughs> bend. It was absolutely. But- when you said that uh, getting in strange positions, um, obviously when I do the workout, I follow an online uh, video. Right. So I tried with exercises besides the cyclette, but sometimes they do some things that I can't do. So I just invent my own. 
but I follow freestyle. the video. <laughs> freestyle. Yeah, freestyle. Freestyle. Sure. Um, so you also mentioned as well, so obviously one of the main things, exercise, sure, but eating. So how's, you said you've been eating more like healthily. Um, so how's that been going? Because I've been trying that as well recently. Um, and so like our tactic is basically don't buy junk food um, because if it's there, it's very difficult sometimes to resist. So we just don't buy it. But then there are days when you think, well, I fucking really want some chocolate. And then you're like scavenging around like in the <laughs> cupboards, like trying to find anything. There's like a chocolate from like 15 years ago. And you think, <laughs> I'm eating it. <laughs> no, um, to be honest, uh, I have to say that I have a good nutritionist and I actually eat. And Mr. Substitute is following this diet. So it's, uh, it's a team effort. Fine. Um so, and he thinks, uh, you know, he tells me, uh, am I becoming a rabbit or something? Because a every meal, there's a huge amount, like a big bowl of salad, but different types. So it's lettuce, spinach, uh, um, different types, whatever. Always vegetables, a protein, and a carb. So okay. at just, the end... <laughs> just one carb, just one piece no, of pasta. No, <laughs> no. For example, like, you know, a quantity of pasta... The, the pasta deal is a big issue because, as you remember, uh, both me and Mr. Substitute, we love pasta. We love food. And we used to eat together half a kilo of pasta. Cool. Now, we are, we're only allowed 60 grams. 60 so that's grams. A bit, What's yeah, the point? Yeah. That's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. But, hey, this is the result. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, yeah, it, it is difficult when you're maybe maybe you've got used to it now but when you're doing that kind of thing at first and you're, you're eating your 60 grams of pasta and like mr substitute you think am i a rabbit like what what the fuck is going on here no no to be honest yeah you get used to it and obviously i have my weak moments so the day after i go get weighed in because i have a check monthly weighed that's in, my... like what like a boxer <laughs> well yeah you get weighed she measures me then you do the what is that exam called? The B this, B this this is a, this is an Italian thing. This this thing. What are you talking about? Nu nutritionist. I uh, uh, it just doesn't exist in England. No one has a nutritionist. Okay, dietitianist. Well, what do you call it, it? it's just like you just eat. Don't eat shit. I don't need to pay someone to tell me don't eat shit. You, so you're gonna tell me in the UK there is not a doctor that takes care of your eating habits? I'm, or, I'm sure or there weight. is. I'm sure there is. But I ah. I can honestly tell you I've never heard anyone see one of these doctors. Whilst in Italy, everyone has a bloody nutritionist <laughs> because they, they go and pay loads of money to for someone to say yeah don't eat chocolate eat <laughs> eat good stuff uh, oh right okay 100 euros there you go <laughs> okay no to be to be honest she she does a good job in the sense of for example i also had an issue of um insulin resistance so that doesn't mean i i eat chocolate or sweets because i'm not a sweet person i prefer salty things but like things that produce sugar so i have to eliminate uh, certain things that, that produce mm. sugar so it's not all you know the junk food mm. but i didn't eat junk food i just ate a lot because <laughs> i like to eat i like to cook right okay so as you remember of, of course um so well I, I to be fair i do as well i've heard lots of people say to me before you you are fat inside because i eat probably quite a lot of shit more than i should <laughs> Um, but so, okay. So when you're doing your workout with your French cyclette and you've got your feet, oh, you, you mentioned a, a bit of this already. Do you have any like music on pumping music? Well, you've got your meditation music when you've got your legs in the air, like a crazy right. person, but do, do you have any other pumping music to get you going? So did you notice there I said to substitute Sabrina, do you listen to any music to get you going? So basically saying, do you listen to any music to get you excited, get you motivated? Now, this term get you going or get someone going is on my 14 day challenge vocabulary for lazy people. Just one example of the many pieces of vocabulary you will learn on the challenge. Remember, it's designed for lazy people that have no time to study. All you need to do is listen. So stop the podcast you are listening to right now. Click the link and sign up for the challenge. It's totally free. So back to the podcast where substitute Sabrina is going to tell us if she listens to music to get her going. 
when she's exercising? Okay, yeah, sure I do. So the cyclette, um, at first I was doing it on my own, but it was bec- it was becoming boring and I'm like, I can't do this. So I found the video, I followed this woman, I don't know her name, and she has music on, but it's cool because she tells you the intensity to go. So she's like, okay, let's go at a six, now pull it up to an eight. And she's got the music in the background and then we do sprints. So when you do the sprints, it's like full force. So it's it's a uh, it's motivational. It's it's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, when I in the past went to the gym, I would always have music on, and I specifically remember once. Well, I had like a an Italian podcast for like beginner level, like when I was like I just arrived in Italy. Right. So you like you lifting weights, and it's like like rocky music, Eye of the Tiger, <laughs> and, then, and then it and then it the song changed, and then it was like. Io ho preso un gelato. <laughs> Mi piace il gelato. <laughs> Which for people that don't speak Italian is like, uh, I got an ice cream. I like I ice like cream. I like ice cream. And then you're kind of thinking, <laughs> yeah, this isn't really getting the blood flowing um, so much. Um, yeah, yeah. You need you need uh, motivation. You need pumping music yeah. or something. Um, or, or podcasts. Many people have told me, in fact, they listen to Rock and Roll English at the gym. Some I bet someone's listening okay. to Rock and Roll English right now. Um, I think, yeah, it, it could be a good idea, but I found that because I was doing the same thing, I was like watching, I don't know, uh, the news, uh, on, on, in English or, uh, something like that. And then I said, no, I need motivation. So that's yeah, why I, I turned to, to the videos that, you know, mm. told me what to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. Um, I've tried that in the past, listened to podcasts, but then I thought, no, I, I need, I need motivation. Um, right. So another one is do do what you love. So do something you love. So for example, lots of women go to like, is it Zumba, Zamba? Um, I think it's called Zumba, yeah. Zumba. I've never understood what, what that actually is. I don't know. I think it's dancing, right. if I'm not wrong. Okay. I don't know. But haven't tried any of that? Any salsa or any of this stuff? Salsa, I know how to dance already because I grew up in Miami. So I don't <laughs> oh, need a salsa. Sorry. I don't, I don't, I you're, don't you're need a salsa. You're already such an expert. <laughs> Yeah, you you, you um, would go to a salsa class and be like, "Oh my god, look get at these, out of the way! Look at Here these beginners!" The... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, it's actually it's all a, a matter of of comfort and convenience because, like I said, I do it in the morning and then I start work, hmm. and I'm not really a late night or afternoon workout person, so I wouldn't be able to do it after work. Yeah, no, I'm I got saying. too many other things get, that get I got to take get care it out of. Out the way as soon as yeah. Um, because I recently now, every Tuesday, 9 p.m., have been playing football. Finally got back into a rhythm. Ah, do, good. Do, doing what, what I love again. Um, okay. And the other day, so it was it's, it's quite a competitive match. It was 9 all, so 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay. Last kick of the game. Guess who scores the winning goal? Oh, my God. I, ah, I ca- you. <laughs> came, came home, c- couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. I was so excited. I couldn't sleep for about a week after that. Just kept reliving the moment. So are they all uh, like uh, middle-aged guys? <laughs> pretty, or... <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Uh, but no, but you're not middle-aged. Uh, you're, uh, but, but you're getting up I am, there. <laughs> I am. So I think, what is middle-aged? 40 is middle-aged? I is think, that... yeah, yeah, 40s, 50s. So 40 like is happening this year. So um, The big 4 this four year? O in November. Whoa, the big 4 okay. Um But yeah, we do have a rule. Um that you have to be at least 35 to play because we, we don't want any young 21 year old whippersnappers r- okay. run, r- running rings around us. Uh, so yeah, you've got to be Makes like sense. half disabled to, uh, okay. um, to play, but, um, okay, good. I'm happy that you're back into that. I know you love this so the, much. The thing that makes me happiest is so in the last couple of years since I've been in England, I've played kind of sporadically. Like I play every kind of three months. And honestly, it would take me three months to get over it. Um, <laughs> honestly, I would feel like someone had like violated me for days. Wow. It, it, it would take me a week to feel normal again. One week. Okay. okay. Um, whilst now, next day, I'm right as rain. Right as rain. Good. Good for you, but it's there in in uh, in uh, in your town, yeah. in Chelmsford. Yeah, playing playing okay. with some some friends, absolutely brilliant stuff. Nice, right. good, good. Um, so, but so okay, so this one's not really relevant, but um, because it's about going to the gym, about that community feel at the gym, or maybe you you, you can feel this online. Have you have you signed up to any groups? 
Um, I'm a loner, so no, I, okay. it's not. It's not a group. I, I just follow this uh, woman on on YouTube. Uh, that's you know that the, they're already uh, videos that are already done. I don't I don't go live. Right. Okay. Uh, but even in, in the past, the gym environment. Um, I mean, from Miami, but also here, it's like I don't know. People go to show off, mm. and I, I I'm not there to show off. I'm there because I want to work out and you know try to get healthy. But you got these guys with all the flexing their muscles and, and the women with like their leotards up their ass. <laughs> um, then no, it's not my scene. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I must admit, I'm, I'm with you on that. But when I was in Palermo, I was part of a gym community. And that, that was brilliant because the gym opened at seven mm. and always you had to be there for seven. If you, if, if I got there at five past seven, all, all of the lads, all of the boys, when I would come mm. in, they'd go, like, what time do you call this? Um, <laughs> and it was just like, so there's that motivation of like, I'm, I'm going to be there. And we were, we were a group, you know. Okay. Um, and the only, the only thing about that, I think maybe I've mentioned it before, is a bit too much of a group, a bit too friendly, especially for the showers at the end. Ah, there, was kind okay. of a, there was kind of a rule, which was don't use the curtain. So all okay. have a shower. I mean, obviously in different And don't showers. drop the soap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you weren't allowed to like, if you close the curtain, everyone would be like, oh, what's he, what, what's he doing in there? <laughs> so you had to leave the curtain open and just okay. stand completely naked in front of a lot of men that you didn't okay. know. Okay, you're, um, you're all washing up. It's not like, you know, you're doing something. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I, I must admit that that was a bit strange but then i got used to it and i i quite enjoyed uh looking at naked men other men <laughs> <laughs> okay so the conversation with substitute sabrina will continue in the rock and roll english family membership area where we do the chit chat podcast and then tell stories about an argument i had with a milkman now that sounds strange i know but believe me it was very strange anyway so yes this will continue tomorrow and i will also do the vocabulary in the membership area this week because as i mentioned earlier i haven't been feeling very well i haven't had time to listen back to the podcast edit it properly take out the vocabulary this all takes time so i'm going to do this for the wednesday episode in the family membership area so thanks a lot for listening everyone i will see you very soon remember if you haven't already, take my 14-day vocabulary challenge for lazy people. But in the meantime, just keep on rocking, baby.